Well, Jim, people we're speaking with tonight tell us that they're okay with it, mainly because the recent COVID data is showing more vaccination numbers are going up and COVID-related deaths and hospitalizations are going down. Clear skies and warmer temperatures had people outside Tuesday night. Many of them telling us they're ready to enjoy the spring outdoors, even if that means getting another COVID vaccine booster shot. I would kind of see it as, you know, a more frequent flu shot, if anything, and so it doesn't really scare me. Pfizer is asking the FDA to approve administering another round of booster shots for elderly people and folks with weakened immune systems. The drug maker says early data showed shots one, two, and three. They kept people from dying and out of the hospital, but it's, quote, not that good against infections. This statement causing some to decline the shot possibility. It's like Russian roulette, you don't really know. You know it's something positive and can something benefits you hopefully in the long run, but everyone's body's built differently. In Philadelphia, the CDC says more than a million people are fully vaccinated. That's 68 percent of the county's population. More than 300,000 are fully vaccinated with a booster. Dr. Arnold Baskies says this information is why people should continue to be proactive about protecting themselves. That's one of the reasons why we're seeing this improvement. What we need to do is stop being anxious about getting a shot but become more anxious, be, be, at least be as anxious about getting COVID. A sentiment shared amongst the young and elderly communities out exploring tonight. I just go with the flow. I mean, why get yourself crazy about it? It is what it is, and if you have to do it, one should. You gotta do what you gotta do to protect others. You know, everybody's so selfish, so why not be selfless for once? Well, the CDC is reporting that here in Philly, COVID vaccinations, rather COVID hospitalizations, uh, hospital admissions that are related to COVID have dropped 42% and COVID related deaths in Philly have dropped even more, 51%. And this is over the last week. I'm also being told that the second booster shot should be available by the fall. And a lot of companies are actually working on a dual vaccine that would tackle both the current COVID variant and the flu at the same time. It's a lot to watch out for. Jim, we'll send it back to you in the studio. We are reporting from Center City. Leah Uko, NBC 10 News.